The national anthem for us this evening is Yuba City High School freshman Avery Barr. Six-five sophomore from Antelope High, 
number 32, Major Solomon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Could you say you've been out of power by you? Hey, fans, uh, at halftime of uh, this game, there's going to be a special presentation made uh, to those Cornelius. So uh, we do have a snack bar. We want you to visit that. But uh, stick around and you can watch uh, the special presentation of that will be made honoring uh, Coach Cornelius on his 500 victory.
And number three, Corey at the line, 40 or 49, there should be one penalty shot. Kaven Flowers.
Time, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the athletic director here at Yuma College, Eric Burns, who will take over this halftime ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Jim, voice of the Yuma College for about 28 years now. Ago, we were here recognizing when Coach reached his 400th win. And here we are again. I don't know, three or four more. Uh, four or five short seasons. Uh, on December 15th at the Chris Kringle Tournament this past weekend, you will beat Red Wheels 87 85 for that 500th win. This is an awesome milestone, and we want to acknowledge that accomplishment here in front of the Niner fans. Um, how many uh, former players are here tonight? Can you all stand, please? Why don't you stand over right there? Stand. Nice round of applause for those guys. They had a big part of that 500. Um, Coach, we have some gifts for you, but before we do, I'd like to invite Yuba College President Dr. Tommy Dodson to say a few words. Hey, thank you uh, for being here tonight uh, to celebrate this college, uh, this team, and this man and his accomplishment. We sure appreciate it. You know, people often ask me why there are athletics programs at community colleges, and I always give them the same answer. First and foremost, community colleges were created to increase access, to give people an opportunity to get to higher education, because two-thirds of jobs in America are required. It. And people choose community colleges for a lot of reasons. Affordability, close to home, small classes, lots of support and sports. 
like these students that you see here tonight, sports might bring them here and open up opportunities for them. Many of these athletes will go on to universities that play at the D2 and D1 level. Some of them will play professionally. Some of them will continue in sports as coaches, as trainers, as team doctors, etc. But a lot of them will become the employees and employers right here in our community, like retired CEO of Sierra Central Credit Union, community college athletes. They might become our lawyers, our accountants. They might open businesses. Uh, they might run for office. They'll do incredible things, and they'll do it through their education. But the bridge that was built was in sports. Athletic programs, though, more importantly, they help us to create community, which is what we're here doing tonight. And winning athletics programs like Doug's over the past 23 years and 500 wins, they bring us together for a common purpose. We wear our pride on our t-shirts, we set aside our differences, and we cheer on our shared team. Building this program didn't happen with just a one-man show. Doug has a really incredible team around him, Coach Nate, Coach Griff, and athletic director Eric Burns, trainers like Greg Lopin, front flying staff like Alyssa, and equipment managers like Bo. But we'd be remiss tonight if we didn't just take a minute to talk about another team that helps Doug, and that's Team Cornelius. You know, Doug's wife and kids didn't sign up for this job. It's, as it turns out, the coach's kid and the coach's wife is an unpaid responsibility. But they're here every day lifting them up and loving them. Most of the time, we can hear Cooper and his friends right over there hollering. You're going to get to see Maggie's work tonight, but she does an awful lot behind the scenes for the team. My favorite is the 49er hot dogs when Vicky's running the snack shack. She knows that for sure. <laughs> but to the Cornelius family, Vicki, Maggie, and Coop, thanks for being team you both through and through. We certainly wouldn't be here tonight celebrating. <laughs> to celebrate you. You've heard about your accomplishments, about the lives that you've changed, about the obstacles that you've overcome, about the many things that you've done. A few of these banners, well, all of these banners are pretty much yours. Congrats on 500 wins and counting. 
You'll be here four or five more years to number 600. Um, so the, uh, the first uh, gift we have for you is a wooden plaque. Wooden plaque carved, uh, laser carved right here on Union Campus from the uh, from the uh, manufacturing department. Shout out to Dan Turner. And then the other gift we have is from the athletic department, uh, commemorating the 500 win frame jersey signed by your team and your coaching staff. We have a video. Coach Ken Griffin, without a doubt. Thank you, everybody. This is overwhelming, and hopefully, we can be done with this and move on and uh, play our game. But I want to thank my dad. And my brother showed up, and it's just, it's just been an awesome experience these last few days. It's been a lot of love. Check out all the people that uh, extended their congratulations to Coach Cornelius. Thanks, Coach.
Hey, fans of the Millions and Silver Court, uh, there are a number of uh, Coach Bundinas, uh, former players, who are here tonight to help celebrate this 500 victory. Good to see you guys back here on the court. Former Union Public 49ers out there, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause. Taking the time to come up and share this evening with Coach Bundinas.
At the line, four and two are shooting for penalty shots, Dylan Hong. Oh! 